Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. It is, um, well, it's still morning time here. We're in Texas, you guys. Anyways, so tonight I'm going to do a vegetable beef soup. And what I'm using for the meat in it is lean beef boneless stew meat. So let me show you a picture of it. It's right here. So that's what I'm going to use instead of like hamburger meat or anything like that. And then I'm going to put in a can. Hold on. Let me turn you guys around. Hold on one second. Okay. I'm going to put in a can of sweet peas, a can of green beans, and then I'm also going to put in some corn. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do, um, a, maybe a, one potato and a little fine dices. And this right here is, excuse that pan, y'all. I was from supper last night. Um, this is my seasoning for it. It's got all the herbs and all that good stuff. And I mix it with some water. And then I also put in a can of tomato sauce. And remember, everything is to your preference. My main thing is uh, something quick, one dish for us tonight. And then, of course, we, we use it with saltine crackers. The stew meat, I've got to let it thaw out a little bit. And then I'm going to kind of like skewer it a little bit, you know, and get it ready to go. And I'm also going to put in half of an onion. And <clears throat> hopefully that'll... The seasoning and everything will just kind of fall together on that. So, let me get the meat thawed out, and then I will be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and I started prepping my meat. <clears throat> and I got my onion diced. I put on for the seasoning on the meat, because I do season my meat. I put garlic powder, seasonal, and pepper. And then I'm just going to kind of lightly um, brown it. And then it's not going to cook all the way. The rest of it is going to go into the crock pot. I meant to tell you guys that, that earlier. I'm going to finish it all and let it cook the rest of the day in the crock pot. So that way, hopefully, you know, you know how it goes sometimes. Um, it'll be tender and then it'll be ready when all the kids get home from school and work and everything. There's the meat. And I just broke it into chunks. So it'll fall out as I'm cooking it. And so there it is. It's seasoned. I put some olive oil in my pan. And yes, my pan is clean. This is a cast iron skillet. I love to cook out of my cast iron skillets. And then here's my onion that I diced up for it. And then over here. And there is my sauce. It's a little dark over here. But that is my sauce that I've got it ready to go. And then you guys, if... You guys like the Pioneer Woman? This crock pot is like the ultimate. If you look on there, see that rubber ring? It gives it a good seal. And then on the ends right here, there's little latches that you can latch it down. So if you're taking your, if I can get it on there. If you're taking, if you need to take your crock pot to, you know, anywhere outside of home, you can, I can't get it, you guys. You can um, latch it and it won't spill. How awesome is that? And the rubber ring around the lid, there it goes. See, you just push it down. And then over here, you just get it and push it down. And then check that out. It'll be the whole thing up. So that is just really awesome. So you can get this. I got mine at Walmart. I think it was like 30 bucks. So yeah, and I just thought she was really pretty. So, I didn't know nothing about the rubber ring until after I got it home and started looking at it. So, it's really cool. Okay. okay. The oil is warmed up. <clears throat> and now, I'm going to put my meat in. And then, I'm going to put my diced onions in. Can you guys see that? Oh, my God. Get it in there. 
Okay, and I'm hoping um, I'll have leftovers. So I don't have to worry about cooking tomorrow when we get home from work. I'm just going to let that do its thing. And then I will put the onions here in just a few. Be right back. Hey, y'all. I am adding in my onions. Oops. The onions are added in. <clears throat> and if you see the meat is, you know, it's brown, but yet it still has some pink to it. And I'll add all this, even the juices, into the crock pot because the juices have a lot of the seasoning in it also. So it's just gonna add a little bit more seasoning to what we already have that I've done mixed up. And then I'm gonna let that kind of simmer for a few just to, you know, get those onions cooked in there. And then, okay, let me put you on hold just for a sec and we're going to drain the vegetables okay now we're going to drain the vegetables the corn is just it's frozen corn you guys so i'm just going to pour the bag in there now if you're watching your carbs and stuff go easy on your corn and your sweet peas because of the natural sugars in it it's going to be higher in carbs so you know uh, me personally i probably won't be eating at all because i don't feel good i've been under the weather the last few days and then there's peas and here's the green beans and then we'll just leave it at that normally i put carrots in it but i don't have any carrots so i kind of substitute the carrots for the corn you can also turn around on this and you can cook and then i'll wash it off you know just under the water get them nice and around and I'll let them just drain for a few. Now, you can also turn around and you can make noodles to go with it and put it on top of the noodles. Or you can do rice. And most likely, I'm going to do some rice. I'm sorry about that. It's cleaning the lens off. I'm going to make some rice because um, the kiddos and stuff, they really like rice. So, um, and, you know, you can just make it like a vegetable and beef rice soup. Um <clears throat> And then, um, or you can just use crackers. You can also sprinkle cheese on it. You know, whatever. You can fix it however you want. So, and then let me show you the meat real quick. And then I'm fixing to put everything in the crock pot and get that bad boy turned on so it can stop doing its magic. Okay, there it is all combined. And I'm just going to mix it. And then if it's too watery, I can always add a can of tomato paste and thicken it up some. So, and I'll test it here in just a bit. Be right with you. Guys, I'm just going to check on this, the vegetable beef soup. I had to get that right. <laughs> and we're going to see how she's coming along. She's been cooking for a couple of hours now. And there she is. I haven't decided, but I might add a can of um, diced tomatoes to it. I haven't just, I haven't quite decided yet. But I'll let you know if I do, and I'll be back. Boy. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, supper is done. And here's a bowl rice. And then. We're going to do a scoop. Oh, and somebody's gagging in the background. Please ignore that. And there it is. And you can top it with cheese, sour cream, whatever you want. And that's it. That is supper for tonight, you guys. There's supper for tonight. And hopefully there'll be leftovers for tomorrow. And the kids don't have to worry about making supper or fending for themselves. So until next time, y'all take care. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing, and y'all have an awesome night. Bye.